Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Just want to quick put a video up here because there is a huge beta opening up here shortly on July 12th that I think everybody should know about. And more importantly, let you know how to get access to it once it does become available. So this video is just going to be strictly around how do you qualify for the play test for Ember Sword that is kicking off here on July 12th. But before we jump into the video, please take the, a quick look at this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project. Don't take my word for it. Just make sure it's right for your situation. All right. I'm sorry I had to put that disclaimer in there just because we are talking about NFTs and potentially purchasing them to get access to the beta. So I had to put that one in there. If you didn't see their announcement this week, Ember Sword has officially announced that their closed beta will be kicking off here. The closed beta play test uh, will be kicking off here on July 12th. And I know that a lot of people have been extremely interested and excited about this one coming around, including myself. So I'm super uh, anxious and hoping that I'll be able to get access to it so I can go ahead and show you all a video because this is a game that has a lot of potential. It's been in development for quite some time uh, and I just want to get in there and test it out. Uh, so they do have that out there as far as their Twitter post goes, as you can see here with all the details as far as reading about what's coming up here in the game test. But they also have a Discord announcement out there with all the details also, both how to get access to it and also uh, what's going to be part of this. So I want to go through that, just kind of do a video here to make sure everybody is aware of this, explain each of the different plans or paths that you can go to get access to it, plus a few things that you may, may or may not know about uh, getting the access to it. So as far as getting access to the playtest, there are four options. The first option is going to be going ahead and just owning land, just owning uh, Amber Sword land uh, on IMX. Uh, in order to do that, there's a couple marketplaces. You're, you're going to have to get off the secondary marketplace for right now. Uh, the easiest place is probably to get it off of Token Trove. If you go to Token Trove, go to Ember Sword. There's two options here as far as you can go ahead and click on land or badges. Both will give you access to the play test. You just go ahead and click on it. Um, the key that you want to keep an eye on is what you want to do as far as when you select a land to grab. It's a specific location. So if I highlight over any of these, you're going to see over on the map, it highlights the actual spot where it's located. Uh, so that's going to be key. Uh, so if you go out and get a land, you can go out, out there and grab the cheapest one if you choose to do that. Or you can be a little more strategic and get a land maybe close to one of the settlements or one of the cities, or you can even grab a city plot if you're, you're really jumping into that. If you want to know more about the details of the differences between all the different uh, types of land, you can go over to their website, scroll down just a little bit, uh, and you'll see that there are four different types of lands. This video is not really specific around explaining the difference between each of the lands, but I wanted to make sure that you're aware of the different types of lands, um, their benefits, uh, if you go ahead and, and dig through this, because uh, it's important. If you, if you choose to go that path and buying a plot of land, you want to know a little bit about the different types and the benefits from holding those. Um, so I encourage you to do your research and go ahead and check it out in both their white papers and also their website. It gives you more details and also be a little strategic uh, unless the, the, the price is, is an issue for you or it doesn't meet your situation. Um, so the other option that you can go ahead and do is if you click back over here on this, the second option is to hold or burn Ember badges. Similar when you go to Token Trove, you click on badges. There are a number of options. When you burn them, you get tokens. So it does count as far as if you either hold them now or you've already burned them for the tokens, uh, you, will, you will be eligible for the play testers from that. And the next option is holding 5,000 Ember tokens. Uh, there has been some questions on the Discord is how do you get those tokens? If you go to Uniswap, if you go to Uniswap, you can go ahead and exchange just about any type of token uh, for the Ember token. It is roughly at the time of this recording, the value of 5,000 Ember tokens is roughly about $120. Uh, that give or take that will change depending on when you're watching this video and checking it out. Uh, so that's how you go ahead and get the Ember tokens. And then last but not least, as far as the way to access is the creator program. And this is one of the things that I'm hoping. I'm hoping because of the potential of this game and what I've read about this game, I would love to become uh, a creator for it. So that's something I'm going to be taking a look at uh, once that 
information is available. As you can see, the details are coming soon. I did ask in the Discord Grandmaster as far as when that's going to be available. He said likely this week. So more information to come for the Creators Program. For anyone interested in that, that should be going ahead and launching at some point this week. You'll go ahead and fill out a form. They'll review it. may have some follow-up information. Uh, but you can go ahead and look into that in a little more detail. Those are the four paths where you can go ahead and get access to this playtest. I'm absolutely going to be trying. Now that you potentially have access, what can you expect once you get in there? It's limited. Remember, the game is still in development, um, so it's going to be a limited area. They specifically say in here that it's going to be a portion of solar wood. Uh, but the neat thing about this is you can actually earn NFTs and Ember as part of this play test, which is probably something I'm, I'm super excited about. I want to obviously get access to the game, test it out, see if it's a game that I want to play long term. Uh, and then if I can earn some NFTs and some tokens from it, I think that's going to be fantastic. So just go ahead and read through this. Uh, it, again, it's going to be limited as far as the area that you have access to, but it should be able to give you a good feel for the game itself. If I do get access, um, I'm absolutely going to go ahead and do a gameplay review on it. So I can go ahead and show you all uh, just in case you didn't, weren't able to get access. If it's a game that you want to go ahead and test out in the future. Uh, so keep an eye out for that coming. I'll obviously do an announcement in my weekly uh, immutable recap if I do get access to make you aware that that is coming. But again, that is going to be kicking off here on July 12th. So if you're at all interested in following any of those paths, any of the four paths that I mentioned, the land, the badge, the uh, Ember token, or the creator program, make sure you have all that well ahead of July 12th so you can go ahead and get access to the game once the play test is available. If you have any questions, go ahead and mention it down below. I'll be happy to chase down the Discord and get the answers for you. Uh, or I'll try and answer myself. Um, or if you have any suggestions as far as any other paths or any other easy ways to access the land, the badges, the token, or the creator program, go ahead and put them in the suggestions down below. Hopefully I'll get access so I can go ahead and show you. Um, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.